And now to other stories, a panel constituted by the Ministry of Environment to review the draft of the Environmental Social Impact Assessment Report of the Federal Minister of Works for the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway Project is calling for review. This comes at the, as the Ministry of Works directed High Tech Construction Company Limited, the firm responsible for the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway construction to repair internal roads damaged by the company's heavy duty equipment. This was made after the panel headed by Professor Oladik Oladapo Afolabi made the resolution on Tuesday at a stakeholders workshop held in Lagos. The residents and homeowners of Okun Aja community in the Bejuleki local government area of the Lagos state also rejected the report with concerns that it falls into address shoreline erosion. As an engineer, I had an opportunity to I speak to some people in ministry and I speak directly to the Minister of Works. And when the diversion happened, I was in the United States. And uh, I remember he, I brought my concern. He said, go to public, go to press. I have, I have it on my WhatsApp. So we have to go to press, go to... Some people did uh, um, the first protest from our Kwaja community. And uh, it was as if the noise doused down. That was when we had meeting with my partners and they decided to send me down to Nigeria to know what is happening. And fortunately, as I was about to come back, we got the second stakeholder meeting stating that Okwaja community has been exonerated. That the, after the MTN presentation, because the MTN hall is not on the coastal road alignment, I followed it on, on YouTube. And I know that when they concluded their, their presentation, they appealed to the Minister of Works to go back to the initial alignment. Did you look at the fact that the road is going to consume most of the houses, looking at the scale at which the road is going now. Did you look at the fact that even the existing houses that will remain there will be consumed? How will the water... Did you, do you have any plan for, for the other people, the other houses that will remain? Do you have any plan for them? Where is the erosion will end up eating up all the houses, looking at the scale and manner at which the road is going. So we are calling on you people to please take your time and look at that. What plan do you have for the community there? Is it that you are just outside the road? You are not outside the houses? You are not after the development of the community? You are just after doing the road and leaving the community members to suffer of the erosion, suffer of water. What are your plans for them? Then number three, this uh, assessment thing. I think one lady, Leila, from um, one particular station has been clamoring of this Obarai station. She has been clamoring on this, uh, on this assessment. Why are you people not doing it now? This is the first thing you are supposed to do and not the last. It's supposed to be the first thing to do. We are beginning to think that is it because of what is going on because we all saw that the minister is being pro. Is this a nation for you people to cover up something? Why are you doing it now? You're taking that as a now. But the attack here. I want that people. I want those tickets along that road so that I can block uh, uh, the, the Atlantic Ocean for a crossing community. It's almost diversion of diversion, sir. It's the reality, the reality is. Block the Atlantic Ocean. But if you look at it when I was young, in my father's house, you cannot call anybody at the Atlantic Ocean. They will not hear you. Now, that's the killer about the family house. Are you going to continue this way? We know how many kilometers the Atlantic Ocean are taken from Nigerian land. 
Pemikul Tiflan. My, my own is, I'm just appealing. Now that you have the IA here now. Sir, just take one stone and keep the bed at times. While the aggrieved residents insist the contractor's heavy equipment damaged most of the community roads, particularly in Okun Aja, they say the only road that they have was destroyed by high tech, adding that the construction damage is the cause of erosion. In the same vein, members of the panel, including engineer Dr. Musa and Mobino, Professor Dal Hatu Singari, and Adedunyi Lassisi, highlighted defects in the draft. ESIA for the project while engineer Dr. Emo Baino questions the rationale behind the diversion of the road in Okunwaja, wondering why it was not specified in the draft ESIA for the project. So I see it as a game changer if you like to use that word of uh, the transport mode in Nigeria. The, but those are just general impressions we have with respect to the road. Um, we have noted that the respect of the alignment, uh, we have seen consideration of uh, uh, even the, the project itself, whether we need to do a no project option or a delay project option or a go ahead project option. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to know that they have accepted to do the go ahead project option. But what are the objective, objectives? There are areas of interconnectivity of which we have identified at A1, A2, A3, and A4, which I'm sure is what uh, my colleague was referring to. You have not clearly identified all these four areas. We need to be sure of them and why you need those uh, interconnectivity. The, there was an initial route. And I think that uh, initial road has been changed for some reasons and the, the issue of that change seems to have generated a lot of uh, community interests and so on. But the reason for the change, we have not seen it technically presented to us on your report. And I dare say that uh, in, in highway designs, uh, profile designs, they are setting basic uh, site investigation that must be carried out. We have not seen those results. We have not been fully informed that they have been carried out. There should be geotechnical investigation. There should be metrometric investigation. There should be topographical surveys. There should be quite a lot of engineering site investigation that have to be carried out. The Minister of Environment, Alaji Balarabe Abbas Lawal, who was represented by Dr. Abbas Suleiman, has, however, assured their grieved stakeholders that their grievances will be taken to the President Bolaame Tinubu. While it remains to be seen if the concerns of the panel 